Well, we use a theme of centralization, where we combine multiple features to create an interior that's smart, spacious, and material efficient as possible. So we've heard from Anna and Alwyn earlier about the single centralized touchscreen. We work with this theme and also centralize the window switches from the outer position in the doors where they're normally located into the center console and devised a multifunctional purpose center console that's clever and smart. The other thing that we've centralized is the glove box. So we've taken that from its traditional location in front of the passenger of the car and moved it into the center because how many times as a driver do you have to kind of awkwardly reach across the car to maybe find that parking ticket you forgot to pay? Now we've centralized that in the middle so it's equally accessible to both the passenger and driver. Yeah. And what about the sound experience in it? Well, for the sound experience, we're influenced by home theater and audio design. We've taken most of the speakers throughout the car, combined them into one sound bar in the front. This, together with the air vents, is combined and hangs off the instrument panel. This really provides us um, the ability to open up the space and add extra storage, especially in the lower front doors. Yeah. And it looks like there's some interesting stuff happening here in the center console. Talk to us a bit more about the storage. Well, the center console is really smart. It's multifunction and multi-storage. So for instance, we have a cup holder system. It can remain closed and out of the way, but you can choose a single cup holder position or click it to come out to a double cup holder. There's even a spot for your phone in front. If you need to wirelessly charge your phone, you can just place it down in the lower underneath that glove box. Now, with electrification, there's no need for a drivetrain that goes through the center of the car. So we've really opened up that space to add extra storage underneath the cup holders. And to top that off, or actually underneath, we have concealed storage for precious items or valuables, for instance, that you want to conceal when you leave the car, or even sunglasses that you want extra protection. Yeah. And did I just see some extra storage there behind the seats? Is that a smartphone pocket? Yep. Clever. Good catch. Um, yeah, so in what we call a map pocket from the past, where you used to house around or drag around uh, your large atlases or physical maps, you know, smartphones are our, our primary use of finding people and places. So we've integrated a smartphone-sized pocket into that seat back uh, to beautifully hold your phone so it doesn't rattle around in a big map pocket. Yeah. And when it comes to design choices, what can our customers expect? Well, from an exterior standpoint, we offer five colors. We have crystal white and cloud blue, as we see here on stage. We also offer onyx black, vapor gray, and quite a new color for us in moss yellow. Now, this color was inspired by the lichen that grow on the rock, rocks along the west coast of the Bohuslan in Sweden. Yeah, that's quite a bold choice. It's all about adding, adding that extra visual punch for the EX30. Yeah. And what about the interior design choices? Well, for the interior, we have what we call rooms. Now, a room is a fully curated combination of color, material, and surface finish. And together, those add different expressions throughout the car. We have two rooms that are focused on a natural set of materials. And we have two other rooms that focus on a recycled set of materials. Talk to us about the recycled rooms. Well, the recycled rooms of Indigo and Breeze. First, we'll start with Indigo, which is a dark blue room. And this uses the recycling process of denim jeans. So using the waste, recycling it, and using it to create our beautiful denim deco. For Breeze, we focused on recycling plastics throughout the deco and the, seat, the 3D, seat knit, uh, 3D knitted seat upholstery. We use a version of 3D knit in the EX30 called Pixel Knit. And that actually is a process that eliminates the leftover waste altogether. And what about the natural rooms? For the natural rooms of mist and pine, we focus on our signature wool blend seats and a flax material on the deco and doors. Now, the flax fiber composite was developed by B-Comp, which is a startup company backed by the Volvo Tech Fund. Flax is a byproduct of the linen plant, so it's, usually, it's grown in between food crops, and it's usually a waste product. Here in the EX30, it finds its beautiful new purpose. Yeah. So it sounds like whether you, whatever you choose, it's a colorful expression. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and what, T. John, are you most excited for our customers to experience? Well, I don't think we could introduce a new Volvo without talking about Scandinavian light and design. So for me, one of the most enjoyable experiences is the nighttime ambient illumination themes. 
So the ambient illumination themes are a mixture of a color that has a subtle, subtle movement as you drive, paired together with an optional soundscape that goes together with that theme, all around the purpose of creating a calming and immersive experience. Can you talk us through the individual themes? Yeah, we'll see some up here. The first theme that you see is Archipelago. So this is inspired by the sunset that's setting over the beautiful west coast, Bohuslan, in Sweden. The second theme that we have is Midsummer. So this is a more of a golden theme, and it the, goes to the name Midsummer, probably one of the most important holidays in Sweden. As we spend very dark, long winters, we celebrate that abundance of light with family and friends in the countryside. The third theme is called Northern Lights. So during those dark, cold winters, we have nature's most magical light show of Northern Lights. There are two other themes, but I'll leave you guys all to discover those on your own.